The view from our planet from space may look the same, but new research suggests the Earth is actually spinning at a dangerous tipping point. With temperatures now predicted to blow past the 1.5 degrees Celsius rise compared to pre-industrial levels within the next five years, and major ecosystems and climate drivers on the verge of irreversible collapse. According to a newly released study from the University of Exeter, the first casualty could be the planet's coral reefs. What I've seen is what almost everybody that I know that studies reefs over the you know over a period of decades has seen that almost every reef I've ever been to has gotten more and more and more damage. Stephen Palumbi is a professor of marine sciences at Stanford's Hopkins Marine Station. While not part of this report, he dives and studies reefs worldwide. An estimated 80% are now being affected by the worst mass bleaching event on record. It's a temperature-fueled die-off of the algae that live inside the coral, providing it with food. While some coral species can recover from the bleaching, others cannot. So you've got a heat stress starving animal there that doesn't necessarily live. 80, 90 percent of them will die depending on the strength of the of the heating events. But if coral is threatened now, other ecosystems aren't far behind. Researchers have identified more than two dozen tipping points for ecosystems ranging from the melting of the polar ice sheets, which in turn trigger sea level rise, interruption of currents circulating the Atlantic, which could unleash major changes in storm cycles, and ultimately a die-off of rainforests like the Amazon, which also have a direct effect on greenhouse gas levels and weather patterns. Peter Rupnerein studies the evolution of ecosystems with the California Academy of Sciences. We may not always know exactly where the tipping point is on the temperature scale, but we're beginning to get a really good idea of that. And the tipping points for these systems are all now within a range that unfortunately we think is, um, is reachable. It's within reach of, of global warming. Still, both researchers found some hope on the horizon. Both Palumbi's lab and Academy scientists have been working on increasingly sophisticated methods of rescuing the most heat-tolerant coral to give them a chance to help rejuvenate the damaged reefs. Then you've got the ability to then take those corals and then breed them together and then make the next generation of more heat-resistant ones. And, and then go from there. And so now we're hoping to, you know, temper and balance these really dangerous tipping points with maybe some positive ones. But as we continue to search for solutions, the clock continues to tick. And researchers believe the time left to make changes is quickly running short.